Here it is, guys. The U.S. Virgin Islands, a traveler's paradise for the views, the scenery, the wildlife, and the beaches. The Virgin Islands has some of the best beaches in the world, literally in the top 10. But what people tend to forget is this place is really well known for the fishing. The fishing here is amazing, and this is Captain Davis Peterson with Just Fish Charters. Captain Davis, he'll put you on the fish. I'm not saying that for advertising. This guy is great kid-friendly, great coach, great fisherman, and he will put you on that fish of a lifetime. So enjoy this video, like and subscribe, and thanks again for all the support. Now let's get out there. Oh, man. So the boat ride out isn't very long, but Captain Davis, he really wants to teach you and show you if you're willing to learn. As you see right here, he's telling me what to do to help him out, but also the more you can help him out, the more fish you can catch and the better chance that you have. Just uh, right there. All right, now grab the line, do the same thing. Here you go, Fish on, fish on, fish on! So this is the barracuda that I'm reeling in. Unlike in the States where you can actually eat them and they're very good, here in the Caribbean and the Bahamas, the water quality is a lot cleaner and they carry what's called ciguateratoxin and it can really screw up your system uh, to hot and cold. So we throw these back. All right, that's good. Well, skunk's off the boat, but skunk is on the boat too. <laughs> they smell like one. Get out of here. All right, skunk's off the boat. All right, what we're gonna do? We're gonna get back on the ledge. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna walk this fish. Right. So what he means by ledge is there's a north and a south drop, and it's about 10 miles offshore, and it goes straight down. The fish like to congregate on those because the bait fish stay there, and it pushes those bait fish up, and that's how your bigger fish they feed. You just won my like. I mean, I respect you, anyways. But I love, I love it when they bleed them. I've seen people just throw them in there, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah, it gets, yeah, they pump it out like a fire hose. Yeah, they get all that blood out, so it'd be sushi gravy by the time you get home. And that goes for any fish that you eat. If you bleed it, um. The quality of the fish it's just going to make it taste a whole lot better oh. so this is my uncle wally my uncle wally is actually a minister on saint john uh, at freshwater church if you're looking for a church on sundays to go to i mean look at that the, the church is on the beach but he's reeling in a barracuda right here as you see also on this video, some parts you're gonna see that there's no audio from the video. That's because music was playing and I don't wanna be demonetized because YouTube will do that to me. So I apologize if you're wanting to hear full sound all the time. So I thought my GoPro had fresh batteries in it. We were riding around, we got a hook up and we got the batteries changed when this happened. So on this episode of National Geographic, I'm Adrian Thornberry here <laughs> with Officer Professor Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got on, bud? What are we doing? I don't know, but uh, I know it's uh, what to get in here to be small, but it's kicking my tail. Hell yeah, buddy. Woo! Hey, I'm kind of turning on him, so get. There you go. All right, he's going down again. 
So he's coaching me the entire time right here. That's what makes him a great captain. He's giving me play by play on what I should hey. do. Ty, Ty, hey. If he's doing that, you just let him do that, okay? Okay. All right. Remember, he's taking inches, you're taking feet. Because I can, I can fight him with the boat, too, a little bit. Okay. But he's coming in. I just saw a shine about 60 yards, brother. Oh, he's throwing a fit. You got him, buddy. Come on, don't get lazy with it. Stay focused. You got this. So he saw I was getting tired. When you get tired, you get lazy. When you get lazy, you get careless, and that's how you lose fish. And so he gave me that encouragement again. All right, when he gets within where I can almost see the leader, you're going to stand up and you're going to walk this way on my side. You understand? So we're about to have a huge surprise in 10 seconds, and you're going to hear us go nuts. Come on, come on. I know it hurts. I know it hurts like sh There he is. Oh, there's another one with him. There's another one. Another Marlin followed this one to the boat. There's another one with him. Oh, you see him? Yeah. All right, let's get this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's two Marlin. Here, walk up here, walk up here. Come on, come on. Right next to the boat. Go, 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 go. White Marlin caught. Yes! Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, look at him right there. Oh. So this Marlin's thrashing. Their bills are like sandpaper. It cuts holes in his glove and the fingers, as you see right here. It's crazy. What else do you need, buddy? Yeah, pull that leader out of my face. So what he's doing here, he's reviving the fish before we take a picture with it. He wants to make sure that fish is healthy and is going to make it. Thank you. Man, thank you. Got it. Hey, here's two. Get the whole fish in there. You need to zoom out, dude. It? It's a video. <laughs> No, that's fine. I can switch up. All right, keep it on video. We're gonna release this fish. Ready? Oh my God! What do you say we let this guy go? Huh? I'm down, man. That's whatever your call is. Oh man, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. See you, buddy. Thank you. See him right there. He's all. Yes. Oh, man. Dude, thank you. That was awesome, man. That was awesome. Thank you. You want to try to catch another one? Woo. There's more out here. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. There was hey, I did get it. Oh, I got it on video. Yes. <laughs> they got the second one coming right into the side of the boat. Yeah, yeah, baby! See that thing coming. Gorgeous. All right, man. so what do you got to say to the camera? Dude, guys, just fish and go fish down here in the Virgin Islands. You will not regret it. Kevin <laughs> Davis with us, man, he kept giving me those words of encouragement as you heard here. This guy right here will put you on the fish and he knows. It's all about because catching him, baby. About 30 minutes ago, he goes, everybody's fishing deep. I haven't heard a call if they didn't catch a fish. I would have heard something by now. We're going to go a little bit shallower to, what was it, 1,200? 1,200, 1,300, yeah. Yeah, he's like, we're going to go a little bit deeper if we're sitting here just, and it could it could happen like that. We're just shooting the breeze, and then all of a sudden, wham! That thing <laughs> took off. 
probably to him it was a short distance being felt like a mile. <laughs> Old redneck from Southwest Virginia. Hey. Oh. oh man, you know what's gonna taste good? Uh, Rubbing this in all your buddy's face sitting exactly. in a comp car right now. Exactly. That's, the, <laughs> that's the first marlin or billfish I have ever caught. Uh, that's about the average size white that we get down here yeah. and it was cool to see it. I hope your camera caught it. But uh, I think so. Like we were trying to turn up but we got enough. I turned the camera over here. Yeah, now we're able to get a new battery in it, but I thought I had a fresh one. Woo! Yeah! We're getting out there, baby! So we trolled around looking for another marlin bite so I could get my Uncle Wally on a fish. We didn't have any luck, but coming back in, I mean, just look at the gorgeous views of the cliffs, the houses, and everything down on this be the beautiful U.S. Virgin Islands. This is St. John. But we got back, Captain Davis, he filleted this fish up for us, this little black tuna. And I made a little appetizer, as you see right here. I uh, just seared it on all sides with some soy sauce. It's so good. He threw the rest of the fish, that uh, the carcass, and just you watch the nurse sharks come up and eat it. But the rest of that week, I spent snorkeling and just getting close to sea turtles. And this place is just amazing and gorgeous. Uh, spent Easter service uh, at Uncle Wally's church that morning. Just a gorgeous place all in general. And I'm so thankful for Captain Davis and what he did for me on my first billfish. But check out Just Fish and Go Fish Charters. They're, they'll put you on the fish. And I can't say enough, but thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all get out there.